alternative therapies. A myriad to choose from. Millions of us use them. A confusing marketplace, but a multi-million pound industry. But does any one of them really work? It feels like an internal massage. Relax. I'm Cathy Sykes, Professor of Sciences and Society at the University of Bristol. How do you explain what's going on? Couldn't the brain be involved? I'm feeling a little bit like I'm some kind of lab rat. Part of my job is helping to demystify science, and to me, alternative therapies are fascinating. <laughs> right on the fringes of what we understand. If they work, then how? Why are people drawn to them? And most importantly, what can science tell us about them? In this series, I'm exploring three of the most popular. Reflexology is a science. The ovaries on ladies is this area. There's so many different ways that meditation can influence the body and the brain. As a scientist, hypnosis is fascinating. Have some more chocolate. It tastes of cool beef. It's a journey that's taken me thousands of miles across the globe. In this program, I'm investigating a therapy that seems to me one of the most bizarre. Reflexology. What, if anything, can it do for us? Newton Abbott's race course in Devon. Usually, there are horses pounding the turf here. But today, there's something rather different going on. Instead of hooves, it's the feet of hundreds of campers traipsing the paddocks. Because this is Quest, a natural health show. In Britain, more and more people are turning to alternative and complementary therapies. Each year, we spend an estimated one and a half billion pounds on them. There's a whole mass of stallholders here, eager to showcase their therapies. And it's quite a colourful mixture. There's some quite medically sounding things, like a microscopy of blood and nutrition therapy. And then there's also crystals and prayer and clairvoyancy, things that are really quite way out. Hey, check this. Hugging stops. <laughs> Lovely to hug. Ah, oh, now reflexology. That's what I've come to find out about. Reflexologists believe that by pressing the soles of your feet, they can help you with all kinds of health problems. So I've decided to dive straight in with a taster session. So, Neville, how does it all work? Essentially, your feet are a map of your body. Um, for example, your toes, uh, the head area, and your heel, and the outside of your heels, uh, the pelvis, and there's a reflex point for each organ, for each joint, so you can work on the whole body via the feet. And rubbing work in one area does what? When you work on a reflex point, if there's a sense of congestion or blockage, then you massage that away. That releases the nerve supply to the organ or joint that it relates to and improves circulation to that area, brings toxins out and nutrients in. Apparently, this foot rubbing can help you with all kinds of things. People come to me for things like sinusitis. They might have um, blocked sinuses, mm -hmm. um, asthma. It's great for IBS or, or constipation, psoriasis, um, things like cystitis, and also um, like um, lower back problems. Where does it all come from? It comes from, sort of, they date back to sort of China and Egypt. There's pictures of them working the feet in the tombs. North American Indians, they, um, they've used it for, you know, thousands of years. And um, the Chinese, they use acupressure. And in the Bible, you know, the cleansing of the feet, they might have been doing reflexology back, back in those times as well. How's it all supposed to work? 
it works on the energy meridians that run through through the body. It also links into your chakra system as well and it, everything. What, what's my chakra system? Your chakra system, um, a lot of Reiki and any energy healing, it works on the seven chakras that are in positioned through the body. You can feel for crystals, um, de deposits at the, at the ends of the nerves. Mm. It gives you an indication that there's a, and a blockage of energy in that area. How much scientific evidence is there, do you think, for reflexology working? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really interested. It's one of those great mysteries, and that's what makes life beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm very much clearer about reflexology. Um, I suppose there are just so many different ideas, so many different ways it might work. I mean, there was talk of, oh, improving circulation, improving your nervous system, improving your digestive system, at the same time as um, talk about uh, having energy blocked and your meridians flowing freely or energy flowing freely. But I haven't heard anything today that's made me think that reflexology may be based on any sound science.